Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Ultimate Dino King here coming at you with another video, and today we've got the return of the tournament. Um, I know it's been a little while, I had some reasons why I haven't been able to finish the tournament, but it's here now. Um, you may also notice better quality video and audio than usual, that's because I have a new PC, I built my own PC, and it is 10 times, well I say 10 times, it's about 150 times better than my old one. So, yeah, anyway, to the match, we've got Luasp versus the Diceratops team. Now Luasp, of course, the reigning champion, and will he make it all the way to the finals? Uh, we've got the quarters right now, so if he makes it past this, he'll have to face either the Siama Tyrannus team or the Taurosaurus team. So, in terms of like, facing other player chosen dinos, he stands a fair, fairly good chance of getting to the finals again. But anyway, for the Luasp, Isosaurus, super defense type from India, weighing 15,000 kilos, the moveset of Water Sword, Venom Fang, and Ty Bomb. This beast of a dino has been carrying Luasp all the way through the tournament. And his opponent, Diceratops Tide Defense from Wyoming, USA, weighing 6,000 kilos with a moveset of Lightning Axe, Thunder Driver, and Plasma Anchor. Now, it'll be interesting to see if we can get that Thunder Driver off. Uh, light Lightning Axe is a bit easier to get off, Plasma Anchor is off. I ran me after a tie, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. So, but yeah. Anyway, let's go. And Luas gets the first hit off. There's that tie bomb. Of course, Venom Fang is going to add a poison effect on afterwards. And there we go. Tie bomb could be quite nasty. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, there's the poison. Another hit from Luasp, and it's a critical. I think this might take out the Diceratops. Not quite. I'm forgetting about the type disadvantage of the Luasp, but the two tie bombs. I think that's all. She wrote the, the Diceratops there. Luas cleaning house. Right, here's Edmontosaurus reform type from Alberta, Canada, weighing 4,000 kilos with a move set of two platoon crush, thorn whip, and green impulse. So that green impulse could be a pain. Nope, I'm thinking of the wrong move. Ignore me. I was confusing it with Emerald Garden then, but Green Impulse could still be a pain. There's a tie. Shame those tie bombs aren't still there. Another tie. I believe Thorn Whip activates after a tie. And then a hit from the Edmontosaurus. There's Thorn Whip. Sorry, I'm so out of touch and forgetting on the moves activate. So I bet some of you are gonna be screaming at me in the comments. Ooh. I think this is two platoon crush, yep. So I think this could be it for the Isosaurus. Yeah. But in its place, Ankyceratops Charge Type from Alberta, Canada. Ooh, another one. Weighing 1200 kilos with a moveset of Lightning Strike, Electric Charge, and Tie Bomb. So, will this Ankyceratops bring the match home for Luasp? Open the tie. Ooh, that's three impulse. And that's gonna do a 
bit of damage. This is currently not looking good for the Ankyceratops. The Edmontosaurus with the comeback. But, there's a tie bomb. And then hopefully an electric charge after that for Luasp. No, no electric charge. There's a tie. There's that tie bomb. This next one could do it, and I think that is the match one for Luas. It's very close, this one. The Edmontosaurus had the comeback, but at the end, Luas showed how dominant he actually is.